Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. And the first thing I want to show you is if you are in a restaurant or in a cinema and you forgot to mute your phone before and in that moment someone is calling you, you just put your phone on a flat surface and it's immediately on silence. And what is pretty awesome as well, if you pick up your phone later, could you hear that? You will receive a little uh, vibration and then you know, okay, I have some new notifications, some missed calls or something like this and you can check it immediately. Pretty nice. And if you want, you can let run two apps here at the same time on the same screen. Maybe if you want to watch a YouTube video, you can check something next to the internet. Well, let me show you how you can do that. Let's open YouTube for example, or could be also another app. Huh? And then take your phone, take two fingers and swipe them from below to the middle and you have split it the screen. And now I can choose for the lower screen another app here for many. Let's keep going on with our example here with the internet browser. Now I'm having the internet browser below and YouTube here on top. But don't wonder if this feature doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable it first. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features. Here it is. And here we need the point multi window. And I recommend to you to enable the first points here, swipe for split screen and swipe for pop-up view. Okay, that means if you open an app, YouTube again here, then take two fingers, swipe it from below to the middle and you have split it the screen. Now choose the app for the lower screen now. Let's keep going on here with the internet browser and now you're having the internet browser and on top YouTube. If you need more space for the lower app, just long press now the three points here in the middle, swipe it up a bit and then you have more space for the browser or for the upper app here, in our case YouTube, uh, if you swipe it down. So a pretty nice mode. So and if you want, you can open also apps in a pop-up view, so in a floating window. So uh, yeah, let's open YouTube again, or could be another app as well, and then take your finger here from the corner and swipe it gently here to a little pop-up. And now you can use the blue bar here to put it also in another position. And now you can let one a video and you can do something as on the phone. So pretty, pretty nice. The next thing I want to show you is also pretty crazy because you can have with one phone, two phones. So one device with two spaces. Maybe one space for your private stuff and one space for your business stuff or one space for your private stuff and the other one for your very private stuff. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here, tap you on a symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point security and privacy. Here it is. And then you have the point a bit below more security settings. So as you can see, there's a bit hidden as well. Huh? And here on top, you are having the secure folder. Okay, just tap on continue. And uh, you need to sign in at your Samsung uh, account. If you don't have one, he uh, asks you to create one and you can do this as well with your Google email address. Okay. Let's go and continue now. And uh, now it is taking a few seconds. And this is the reason why I will forward the video right now. Okay, now we're in the next step. Now we have to set up a lock type here for your secure folder. Uh, you can set up a pin, a password or a pattern. I'm more the fan of a pin. And yeah, just enter one. It should have at least uh, four characters. Huh? Uh, I will take four times the nine. Please take a better one. Huh? Just go and continue after all and done. Okay, my phone is not so happy because my pin was too easy, but I will use it anyway. Now uh, we enter the same pin code. In my case, it was four times the nine. Please take yours. Go on done after. Okay, I recommend to you to turn this on here because if you forget your pin code, then you can reset it with your Samsung account. Okay, you can add also fingerprints to have quick access then later and so on, but you can do this later as well. Okay, just go next. Okay, now we are here in the secure folder. The secure folder is an own world, uh, so you have an own camera and all the pictures you're taking here in the secure folder will stay only visible here at the gallery at the secure folder. Now you have an own internet browser and all the browser history, um, all the website you're surfing on, they only are visible here at the browser history at a secure folder. Now, same with contacts, you can have own contacts, own files, own calendar entries, own notes, and so on. And you can have as well own apps here, only visible at a secure folder if you go in a plus symbol. Uh, first of all, you can choose uh, from existing apps already on your phone, like WhatsApp maybe, and then you have your 
um, WhatsApp, but a second account, also completely independent from the main one on your main um, desktop. Uh, and you can add also here apps on plus symbol from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store, which one are only visible here at the secure folder. So you can't see that you have these apps on your phone. Uh, okay, but where to find the secure folder? Let me show you a bit more about. So if you scroll up here, so that you're in the app drawer, you will find it here now, the secure folder, and you can have access. But hold on, we set up a log type. Why is not asking for that? Yes, he's only asking if you put the phone on standby. Uh, but you can change this if it's uh, not so well for you. So just tap on the three points to change it. Go on the settings. And then you can set up here the auto lock secure folder. Actually, it's just when we turn off the screen. Uh, but you can set up as well a time or the most secure is the first one here. Yeah. Each time uh, if you're leaving an app, the uh, secure folder is locked. If you don't want to really uh, lock the folder all the time, then you choose the last point here. No, it's only when you restart your phone. So if you turn it off and turn it on again, then uh, you need to enter the pin code here for the secure folder. Okay, what to do if you have already existing files here on your uh, phone, which one belongs uh, to the secure folder, uh, you can do that. So just enter maybe the gallery, for example, uh, go on the pictures you want to uh, have in a secure folder, May here are uh, the mm, yeah, four ones. Uh, just long press one of these pictures, uh, then it's marked. Then you can select those other ones. Go then on more and move them to the secure folder. And then they should disappear here. Uh, okay, let's check now the secure folder. Uh, and the gallery. And here they are. Uh, they're only visible now here at the secure folder. Yeah, what I recommend to you as well is uh, if you are not too happy here with this uh, um, icon and secure folder because people know then already, hey, maybe he wants to hide something or there's something interesting, some business stuff or something like this uh, for whatever you will need it for. And uh, you can change it as well, no? these kind of um, icons. So just go here on the three points at a secure folder, go on customize, and then you can give it as well another name. No? Let's choose any one here. Go on done. And then you can choose also another logo. No? May a star symbol. And take another color. May you put it in red. No? Go on apply. And now it looks much more innocent. No? So much more hidden. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is a basic feature at Samsung smartphones, but always good to know because you can quick launch the camera by just then we're pressing the power button and you're immediately at the camera without looking for the camera app and so on and wasting time. You know what I mean, huh? And pretty awesome is this feature works as well if your phone is on standby. Just double press the power button and you're immediately at the camera. And hey, may this saves you a great picture one day. Okay, we're at the camera now and uh, let me ask you, did you know that you don't use the full 50 MPs of your camera? Yes, you're always using just 12 MPs if you're shooting pictures, but you can change it. If you just tap here on the 12M, because then it's changing to the 50 megapixels, huh? to the fullest resolution, but it has some disadvantages. So you can't zoom in here at the 50 megapixels and you need to hold your phone very steady because um, yeah, just then you can have great pictures and the light conditions should be also well. So that's the reason why I recommend to you, uh, if you just want to have a quick picture and so on, always uh, to take the 12 megapixels. And this saves also um, space here on the internal storage. So just if you have good conditions, just then choose the 50 MPs and then you can squeeze out the maximum from the camera. Huh? So, but basically the 12 amps are often okay. Okay, the next feature I want to show you is pretty magic because you can delete objects on pictures. Let me show you how. So let's take a picture first here. Oh, two coins. Okay. Let's have a look here. Let's go in the preview. I can go as well on the picture at the gallery. Then we need to tap on the pen here. And now we're in the editor. Huh? And here we tap now on the four circles at the editor. And here we have the tool, the object eraser. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's choose the five cent coin. It's less than the one euro. Okay, 
So go also a bit further, huh? and then just go here on Eris and the coin has disappeared. Crazy, huh? And it imitates as well to the table here. Huh? This is the coin and now it's gone. The software is pretty amazing already. Just tap on done later and don't forget to save it. And yeah, save uh, over the original, save and then we will have it as our picture here without the five cent coin. Pretty amazing. And if you want, you can also take pictures here of your screen. So a screenshot. For that, you will have two ways for it. Let me show you the first one. It works with a button. So we will need the power button for and the volume down button. Press these both buttons just to show together and you're having a screenshot. After you can see the preview, you can edit the screenshot or you can share directly with WhatsApp, Telegram and so on. So one more time, the power button and the volume down button just to show together and you're having a screenshot. If you tap now you're on the editing symbol, then you have also the chance to draw something inside here or to highlight something. Or here at the corners, you can copy part of the screenshot, but it's very useful if you want to capture maybe a picture from a website or something like this. Huh? And after, you can share this edited part directly or with the arrow, you will send it directly to your gallery. Then there's a second way to take a screenshot and for that you will need the edge of your palm. Just swipe it across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well. So one more time, take the edge of your palm, you can Swipe it also from the other side and you're having a screenshot as well. And in case if you want to take a video of your screen actions, it is also possible. And for that, there's a built-in screen recorder. Let me show you how you can use it. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. And then you have here the icon uh, with the cam in it. Just tap on it. Then you have a little setup here for the sound. And if you want to have no sounds, if you just want to have the media sounds or the app sounds. Uh, and if you want to have next to the media sound, also the microphone as well, in case you want to explain something. Huh? And in case if you want to explain something, you can also show the tabs and touches, because no one really knows where you have tapped the screen or which buttons you have pressed if you want to explain something on the phone. Huh? And if you need that, you can enable this feature. Okay, after just go and start recording, and after the little countdown here, your screen recorder has started. You have this little button here, which one is movable to other positions. Huh? And if it's still stopping you, just tap on the arrow here and it's almost here hidden. Huh? You can swipe it out at any time. Okay, this uh, little bar allows you to, so if you don't tap on the pen, allows you to draw something inside here or to highlight something uh, and so on and uh, as you want. And yeah, but the disadvantage is you can't navigate if you've enabled this feature here. That means if you want to navigate, you have to remove the pen and then you can navigate again. With a little uh, icon here of the, the man no? or woman, uh, you enable also the front cam and yeah, people can see you doing your recordings. No? If, if it's a game or um, yeah, just a tutorial, anyhow. No? Okay, uh, and in case uh, if you want to pause the video, just tap on the two bars. No? Uh, and if you want to record the same video again, just tap on the red button and the same video will continue with the recordings. Now, if you want to stop the complete recordings, just tap on the square and the video has stopped. And you can set up a bit more for your screen recordings for that just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, long press now the screen recording symbol here. And then you have some more options like to set up the video quality. Now, what is very important because our um, storage is limited. Now. So if you just do a tutorial for your friends, you can choose also, choose also the lower uh, quality or the medium quality. It's absolutely okay. Now, just if you want to publish it, then choose the highest one. Uh, uh, and you can also choose the selfie video size. Now, if you want to increase it a bit that people see you better, you can do this as well. So just check it out a bit. And where to find the screen recordings and the screen shots and so on after, of course, here the gallery. And here the pictures, they're mixed up with the photos and videos you've done with the camera. So this is why I recommend to you to go always go to the albums because the screen shots and the screen recordings have their own folder here, only for the screenshots and so on. Here we're already at the end and uh, I want to show you an AI feature here uh, of Samsung, which one is there since it is Bixby. You may have heard it already um, and I have the visual version here, so Bixby Vision. It has a strength at the texts, no? at documents and so on. Let me show you a bit more about, so just tap you on the camera, then tap you on more, and just go you on Bixby Vision. Okay, here we are. So now you have a bar here, you can choose what you want. As I said, 
The text feature is nice, so you can hold your phone over a text and it will copy the text. And now you can uh, copy things here and so on or translate things. You can share it directly. You can directly work on it and so on. So a pretty, pretty nice tool. And what is also amazing, you have a translation tool here as well. And you can uh, hold your phone over a book, like a my page, and it will make a live translation. It auto detects the language. You don't have to tell, say which uh, language it is. In my case, it is German here. But the phone is auto detecting it and translate it immediately into English. And you can just select the text and so on, and you have it directly here and you can work on it and so on. And so it's pretty, pretty nice um, as well for your holidays. If you're in a restaurant or something like this, uh, you can really translate and you will know what they will serve you. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your questions and show you some nice tips and tricks here for your video, uh, for, for your video, for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up. It would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, but some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support and yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.